Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Human Computer Interaction. Today is lecture number 42, and the title of today's lecture is Communicating with Users. Sabse pehle, aye dekhte hain ke last lecture mein humne kya padha tha. In the last lecture, we were discussing various methods and techniques about how to ask users and how to ask experts. Regarding asking users, we discussed interviews and questionnaires. And regarding asking experts, we discussed inspections and walkthroughs. Pishay lecture mein hum is cheez per discussion kar rahe the ke aap users se information kaise obtain kar sakte hain. So in this we discussed two methods and techniques. We can use interviews and we can also use questionnaires. Interviews karne ke kei tarike hote hain. You can have semi-structured interviews, structured interviews and unstructured interviews. Apart from interviews, we can also use questionnaires. तो पिछले लेक्चर में हमने देखा था कि क्वेश्चनर्स को कैसे डिजाइन किया जा सकता है उसके लिए कौन सी गाइडलाइंस होती हैं एंड व्हाट आर द वेरियस स्टाइल्स दैट कैन बी एम्प्लॉयड टू प्रोड्यूस अ गुड क्वेश्चनर क्वेश्चनर्स पेपर बेस्ड भी हो सकते हैं और इलेक्ट्रॉनिक भी हो सकते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल वेब बेस्ड क्वेश्चनर्स एंड देयर आर एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस of both of these types of questionnaires. Dusri cheez jo humne discuss ki thi, wo ye thi ke hum experts se information kaise hasil kar sakte hain. How can we obtain information regarding evaluations from experts? To uske andar humne ye discuss kiya tha ke aap inspections ke zariye se information hasil kar sakte hain. Regarding evaluation, inspections are also known as heuristic evaluation. So heuristics are derived from certain design principles and guidelines. हमने पिछले लेक्चर में इस पे भी डिस्कशन की थी कि मुख्तलिफ डोमेन्स, मुख्तलिफ डिवाइसेस और एप्लीकेशंस के लिए आपके heuristics भी different होने चाहिए. For example, if you are evaluating a desktop application, तो उसके कुछ heuristics होंगे. And you, if you are evaluating a website, तो हो सकता है कि उसके heuristics थोड़े से different हों. Similarly, if you are trying to evaluate a mobile phone, since this device is different in nature from a website, so this will definitely have a different set of heuristics. Inspections ke alawa, humne walkthroughs, walkthroughs ki baat bhi ki thi. So you can also conduct pluralistic and cognitive walkthroughs. Iske andar, aap user ka role play ka, karte hain and you create certain simulations, mental simulations regarding how the user would perform a certain task aur us dhoran, usko kya kya problems pesh aayenge. We now turn our attention towards today's lecture. So, aye dekhte hain ke aaj ke lecture mein hum kya padhenge. In today's lecture, we will be discussing how to communicate with users. In this regard, we will be discussing how to eliminate error messages, the process of notification and confirmation and we will also discuss other forms of communication with users. Nowadays, in software applications, error message box, dialog boxes, confirmation boxes, these are very widely used. But these are also the most abused of components within a software application. Inco 
मिस यूज किया जाता है फ्रॉम द यूज पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सी वॉट कैन बी डन रिगार्डिंग दीज कम्पोनेंट्स हाउ कैन वी चेंज द प्रस्पेक्टिव on using these components and elements within an application to create a better user experience so first of all let's discuss how we can eliminate errors so first of all what are error messages and how do they occur well whenever a software application a program get some kind of data or information that it doesn't like then it throws up a dialog box this dialog box has a message on it this is known as an error message box now there is one thing that we have to remember concerning users users never want error messages in fact users want to avoid the consequences of making errors so since we are concerned with looking at an application from the user's perspective so as far as the user is concerned they would not like to see error messages to sabse pehle hame ye baat samajh leni chahiye dusri baat wo ye hai ki users errors pasand nahi karte and they want to avoid the consequences of making errors वो नहीं चाहते कि कोई ऐसी सिचुएशन पैदा हो जो उनके लिए मुजर हो नाउ यूजर्स विल ऑफर नॉट कंप्लेन अबाउट एरर मैसेजेस अब प्रोग्रामर्स कहेंगे द डेवलपर्स ऑफ अ सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशन वो ये कहेंगे कि यूजर्स तो इसके बारे में कंप्लेन नहीं करते तो ये कौन सा बड़ा मसला है वेल वी शुड रिमेंबर that users do not normally complain about things agar koi sh galat ho jaye agar unke perspective se koi cheez sahi perform nahi kar rahi to bahut kam cases hote hain ki users programmer se jaake complain kare to ye baat hame zehn mein rakhni chahiye so why do we have so many error messages iski wajah kya hai we have to go back into history in the early days of computers computers were operated by very technical minded people the early operators of computers were sympathetic to the needs of the cpu to pehle zamane mein jo log computers ko operate karte the ek to unka technical zehen tha dusri baat ye hai ki us waqt computers इतने पावरफुल नहीं होते थे दे कुड ओनली परफॉर्म अ लिमिटेड नंबर ऑफ टास्क दे डि नॉट हैव अ लॉर ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग पावर सो अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ दीज टू थिंग्स लेट टू दी एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ एरर मैसेजेस सो द अर्ली ऑपरेटर्स डिड नॉट माइंड एरर मैसेजेस सच हैज अबॉट रीट्राई एंड फेल एंड द इंफेमस f u error message and the infamous f u error message kya aap jante hain ki f u ka kya matlab hai can you guess what f u stands for in early computers this stood for file unavailable so with the passage of time programmers they came to accept this as normal that humans should be asked for some input users say kuch data manga jaye as an input and when they do not conform to the requirements of the cpu then they should be told that they are wrong to yahan pe aap ye dekh rahe hain that the error message paradigm is asking humans and users to conform to the software and computers So what is wrong with error messages What do programmers think of error messages Error messages ke bare mein programmers ka kya khayal hota hai What is their understanding about error messages 
پروگرامرز کا یہ خیال ہوتا ہے کہ وہ یوزرز کو الرٹ کر رہے ہیں ان کو خبردار کر رہے ہیں ان کو ایک سچویشن سے آگاہ کر رہے ہیں بٹ ڈو یوزرز ہیو دا سیم پرسپیکٹو سو وٹ ڈو یوزرز تھنک آف ایرر میسیجز یوزرز تھنک آف ایرر میسیجز ان ٹرمس آف دی انیبلٹی آف اے پروگرام ٹو پرفارم اے سرٹن فنکشن اینڈ اپارٹ فرام دس ایرر میسیجز also stop the proceedings. Error messages, they interrupt the flow of the user's tasks. Jab error message aata hai, to iski wajah se ek interruption create ho jati hai. There is an interruption and the user has to stop doing what they were trying to perform. So from the user's perspective, this is an obstacle, this is an interruption and it stops the flow of the user. So, do humans, do users like error messages? The answer is no. But why? Why don't they like error messages? Is ka jawab dene ke liye hume humans or computers ki nature ko understand karna hoga. Humans have emotions. They get angry if they are told that they are wrong. So error message basically kya kya raha hai? Ye ek human being ko ye bata raha hai ke aap galat hai. No person, no human being likes to be told that they are wrong. So in this situation, the computer is telling the human being that they are wrong. اس کے برعکس کمپیوٹرز ڈو ناٹ ہیو ایموشنس کمپیوٹرز کے جذبات نہیں ہوتے کمپیوٹرز کے سینسیٹیوٹیز نہیں ہوتی اف ون ماڈیول آف کوڈ سینس سم تھنگ سم ڈیٹا ٹو انادر ماڈیول آف کوڈ اور دوسرا ماڈیول پہلے والے کو ریجیکٹ کر لیتا ہے تو پہلا ماڈیول مائنڈ نہیں کرتا وائی بیکاز کمپیوٹرز ڈو ناٹ ہیو ایموشنس If the second module tells the first module that you are wrong, آپ نے کوئی غلط کام کیا ہے تو وہ مائنڈ نہیں کرے گا But that is not the case with human beings. So we have to understand this basic fact. Programmers, therefore, have a wrong assumption. They think people like to be told when they do something wrong. So in general life, اگر ایک person دوسرے پرسن کو بار بار کریٹیسائز کرے اور اس کو کہے کہ تم نے غلط کام کیا ہے تم نے غلط کام کیا ہے تم نے ایرر کیا ہے تو جنرلی ہم اس کو پسند نہیں کرتے ہم اس کو مناسب نہیں سمجھتے سو وائی ڈو وی ایکسپٹ دس ان دا کیس آف سافٹ ویئر ویل وی ہیو ٹو کنسڈر سافٹ ویئر ایز این انٹریکٹو آبجیکٹ as an interactive entity. اگر ہم سافٹ ویئر کو اس نگاہ سے دیکھیں جیسے ہم ہیومن بینگس کو دیکھتے ہیں جیسے ہیومن بینگس ایک دوسرے کے ساتھ انٹریکٹ کرتے ہیں اسی طریقے سے سافٹ ویئر بھی کرتا ہے تو اس تناظر میں وہی چیز سافٹ ویئر کے اوپر بھی اپلائی ہوتی ہے جو ہیومن بینگس کے اوپر اپلائی ہوتی ہے سو سافٹ ویئر از جنرلی این انٹریکٹو بینگ So what is the conventional wisdom about error messages? They tell the user that he has made a mistake. So this mistake, is a really mistake? And if it's a really mistake, then who is to blame? Who is to blame? Now generally, an error message is brought up by the software application when some wrong data is entered. Or rather, in most cases, if the data is not entered in the precise and exact format that the computer requires. For example, you are trying to enter in the date. And you do not enter the date in the precise format that is required by the user. In this case, 
the computer will throw up an error message. The computer is not very accommodating. Generally in life, agar aapko ek form fill karne ko diya jaye, aur wahan pe thoda sa formatting ke andar koi thodi si mistake ho, to uski wajah se jo person isko receive kar raha hai, wo aapko bilkul ankar nahi kar dega. A reasonable person will then help you and guide you to rectify what is wrong. And in many cases, if the person is reasonable, they will actually do it for you. So one thing that we have to understand about computers and software is that they should become more forgiving and more accommodating. Unko human beings ke natural behaviors ko so humans make mistakes. Do error messages really perform a useful task? Now, a very fundamental question. Do error messages prevent users from making mistakes? The answer is no. Error messages do not prevent users from making mistakes. In fact, they tell us after something has gone wrong from the computer's perspective. So in effect, error messages are not preventing human beings from getting into trouble. In fact, they prevent the program from getting into trouble. So by any means and measure, error messages are not desirable from the user's point of view. Therefore, we should try to eliminate error messages. So is it really possible to eliminate error messages? Is it really possible to prevent the user from making mistakes? The answer is yes. Lekin, is ke liye ek thought process ko apnani ki zarurat hai aur thoda sa extra kaam karne ki zarurat hai. Some extra thought and mental effort needs to go into the design process. Abhi jo humne example bayan ki, jiske andar aapne ek date ko enter karna hai ek form ke upar. To date to aapne sahi enter ki, lekin computer ke lihaz se Uska format theek nahi tha. So this is a situation that can be prevented. Isko aap prevent kar sakte hain. Kaise? Aap bujaye se ke user ko force kare ke wo kuch data enter kare. To jab bhi data enter karte hain, to usme mistakes ke chances bad jate hain. Instead of this, why not present the user with a list of options? Aap user ko kuch options dein aur wo wahan se selection kare. Is tarike se aap kisi bhi kisam ke error ko avoid kar sakte hain. So instead of forcing the user to enter data, present the user with a list of options jahan se wo selection kar sakke. Is ke lawa aur bhi bhoat se tarike hain. The first thing that we have to do is to adopt this mindset ki humne user ko facilitate karna hai aur humne user ko koi taklif nahi pohunchani. We do not want to humiliate the user. Error messages are post facto reports of failure. To error messages asal mein hume ek kaam ke galat ho jane ke baad inform kar rahe hote hain. It's just like a soldier has stepped on a landmine. As soon as he steps on the landmine, he hears a click. But this click is actually just like the error message that something has gone wrong. Ab iske baad surtehal beter nahi hogi, balki wo kharaab hi hogi. So software should learn to give positive feedback. Human beings, they like to be given positive feedback. Human beings, 
जब कोई गलती करें कोई मिस्टेक करें तो अगर पॉजिटिव तरीके से उनको कुछ बताया जाए तो उसको ज्यादा जल्दी एक्सेप्ट करते हैं नाउ सॉफ्टवेयर इट गिव्स नेगेटिव फीडबैक वो बार बार हर मौके पर यह बताता है यूजर को कि आप गलत हैं आप सही काम नहीं कर रहे यू आर रॉन्ग तो ये उसको ह्यूमिलिएट करने के मुतरद है तो जैसा कि हमने कहा कि यूजर को ह्यूमिलिएट नहीं करना चाहिए अ ह्यूमन बींग यूजर शुड नॉट बी ह्यूमिलिएटेड एट द एक्सपेंस ऑफ द कंप्यूटर और सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशन सो वी शुड ट्राई आर मैक्सिमम एंड लेवल बेस्ट टू एलिमिनेट एर मैसेजेस लेकिन हो सकता है कि फिर भी किसी सिचुएशन में ये दरकार हो सो इन दैट केस वी शुड ट्राई टू इम्प्रूव एरर मैसेजेस तो अगर एरर मैसेजेस हमने डिस्प्ले करने ही हैं तो उस सिलसिले में कुछ रिक्वायरमेंट्स का हमें ख्याल रखना चाहिए वट आर दीज रिक्वायरमेंट्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बी पोलाइट सेकेंडली be illuminating thirdly be helpful so why should the software be polite why should the error message be worded in a polite manner the reason is the user is using this software in order to achieve his or her goal to ye uske liye ek tool hai agar software user ki need ko fulfill nahi kar sakta then it should at least be polite about it it should not throw up a rude error message it should also be illuminating and helpful to error message wo aisa ho jo user ko illuminate kare wo usko help kare wo uski rehnamai kare ki acha ab agar mistake koi ho gayi hai ab ab, ab agar koi aisi situation hai jo ki theek nahi hai From the computer's point of view, तो अब इसको ठीक कैसे किया जाए So the error message should provide some form of guidance. अब आइए हम एक एग्जाम्पल देखते हैं द स्क्रीन शॉट दैट यू आर सींग ऑन योर स्क्रीन इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एन इम्प्रूव एर मैसेज तो अब हम इसको देखते हैं It says Please take note. The file you are editing, prose.txt, which resides on volume net one, is unavailable due to an unidentified network failure. No data has been lost. However, अब यहाँ पे आप देखें कि इस error message में user को तसली दी जा रही है कि आपका data वो lost नहीं है. That has not been lost. It is recoverable. Or, इसके अलावा कुछ और मजीद information भी provide की जा रही है. Such as the scope, the file will automatically be restored when the network connection is re-established. The action, a local copy of prose.txt, will be saved to the volume title drive C in folder local save. On your desktop, if you would like to save to a different location, press Save As below. Otherwise, just press OK. This program does not have the ability to diagnose the problem further. Please contact your network administrator for further information. So, you can see in this example that if you have an error message, if you have to present it, तो एक अच्छे अंदाज से पेश किया जा सकता है इस एग्जाम्पल में आपने देखा कि यूजर को पूरी तरह से तसली दी गई है कि उसका डेटा वो लूज नहीं हुआ वो करप्ट नहीं हुआ इसके साथ साथ उसको ये भी बता दिया गया कि ये डेटा ये कब रिकवर होगा और लोकल कंप्यूटर के ऊपर ये कहां पे सेव हुआ हुआ है सो द कंप्यूटर इज डूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क फॉर द यूजर खुद से बहुत सारे डिसीजन ले रहा है लेकिन यूजर को कुछ ऑप्शंस भी दे रहा है सो दिस इज अ गुड एग्जांपल, अ बेटर एग्जांपल ऑफ एन एरर मैसेज 
So generally, error messages, they give the impression that the computer is superior to the human being. They give us the impression that the user should conform to the requirements of the computer. Or, what ke saath saath, ye taasur paida ho gaya hai, programmers ke andar, ki error messages ko present karna ye zaruri hai. And even now, users also think that you cannot have a software application without error messages. Lekin, jaysay ke hamne abhi discuss kiya hai, we can at least minimize them and make them better. We now move on to our next topic, and that is confirmations and notifications. Inside a software application, you very often see alert dialogues. You also see confirmation dialogues. Alert dialogues are also known as notifiers. Iske alawa, kuch confirmation dialogues hote hain, jo aap se sawalo jawab karte hain. So, let's define an alert and confirmation. An alert notifies the user of the program's action. Confirmation gives user the authority to override that action. Now, is it okay to provide alerts and confirmations to the user? Well, they have one disadvantage. Kya aap guess kar sakte hain? Alert boxes or confirmation dialog boxes ka nuksaan kya hai? Again, think from the user's point of view. Well, one of the disadvantages is that the proceedings are stopped. User ka flow ye band ho jata hai, ye interrupt ho jata hai. The alert messages are basically announcing the obvious. Ye aapko kisi cheez ke baare mein itla de rahe hote hain. So what happens when alert messages announce obvious things? They give the impression that the software is not confident. Secondly, it makes the user go to another place. For example, if we delete a file, do we need to be told about it? Kya ye zaruri hai ke jab bhi aap koi action perform karein software ke saath, to aapko bataya jai ke aap ne action waaki perform kar diya hai? Let's compare this with an example from normal life. Aam life ke andar aap dekhte hain ke aisa nahi hota. First ki jiye ke aap kaar chala rahe hain. And you decide to press the indicator. Aap right indicator ko engage karte hain. In response to this, the car tells you, you have indicated towards the right direction. Aapko to pehle pata hai, ke aapne right indicator ko engage kiya hai. What value is this adding? Isi tarikhe se, aap second gear lagate hain, so, car aapko batati hai ke aap ne second gear laga liya hai. So, you can see that there is no value in announcing the obvious thing. User ko to pehle hi pata hai ke usne kya action perform kiya hai. And if the user makes a mistake, then the alert messages do not help us in any way. Usually, if a person makes a mistake, then he realizes it very soon. Or uske liye undo ka function hona chahiye. So we have just discussed that alert boxes exhibit flow breaking behavior. They cause interruptions in the flow of the user's task. Iski example aapko saamne screen par dhkhai dhe rahi hai. In many word processing applications, there is a facility to find and replace a certain word. To is example mein, ek window ke andar, ek dialog box ke andar, hum ek word ko type karte hain, and then we click on the 
find next button. In this case, the word that I have typed in does not exist in that particular document. In this answer, application an alert message mujhe deta hai. It says, Word has finished searching the document. The search item was not found. So, here you are seeing that I got an alert message. Now, what is the मुझे किसी तरीके से नोटिफिकेशन नहीं होनी चाहिए कि जो काम मैं चाह रहा था जो रिक्वेस्ट मैंने सॉफ्टवेयर से की थी वो पूरी नहीं हो सकी क्या ये मैं नहीं चाहूंगा वेल यस आई वुड आई वुड लाइक टू बी इंफॉर्मड वेदर माय रिक्वेस्ट हैज बीन फुलफिल्ड बाय द सॉफ्टवेयर और नॉट लेकिन इसके कुछ और तरीके भी हो सकते हैं देयर आर वेरियस वेज ऑफ इंफॉर्मिंग द यूजर इसमें इस अप्रोच के अंदर नुकसान क्या है एक बार फिर स्क्रीन के ऊपर देखें क्या आप बता सकते हैं कि इसको नुकसान क्या है वेल इन दिस केस आई एम फोर्स्ड टू क्लिक ऑन द डायलॉग बॉक्स ऑप्शन तो यहां पर मैसेज मुझे पढ़ना पड़ेगा और उसके बाद मुझे ओके okay का बटन क्लिक करना पड़ेगा सो आई एम बींग फोर्स टू गो टू अनदर प्लेस इसके बजाय अगर यही इंफॉर्मेशन प्रीवियस ओरिजिनल बॉक्स में डिस्प्ले कर दिया जाए तो वो ज्यादा बेहतर होगा दिस विल नॉट इंटरप्ट द फ्लो ऑफ द यूजर्स टास्क एंड इट विल नॉट फोर्स द पर्सन टू गो टू अनदर विंडो एंड परफॉर्म एक्स्ट्रा क्लिक्स एंड एक्स्ट्रा एक्शंस सो द क्वेश्चन अराइजेस इज दैट व्हाई आर दीस काइंड ऑफ मैसेज बॉक्स सो कॉमन ये इतने कॉमन क्यों हैं ये इतने आम क्यों हैं वेल देर आर वेरियस रीजन फॉर दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दे आर इजी टू क्रिएट मोस्ट प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस ऑफर अ मैसेज बॉक्स फैसिलिटी इन अ सिंगल लाइन ऑफ कोड एक प्रोग्रामर के लिए एक अलर्ट बॉक्स को क्रिएट करना ये बहुत आसान होता है कंपेयर टू दिस इफ द प्रोग्रामर has to display this within the dialog box agar hum chahte hain previous example ke andar ke ek icon ho aur uske andar animation bhi ho aur wo dynamic bhi ho to indicate the condition and state of the user's task to iske liye programmer ko extra kaam karna padega so programmers have a conflict of interest यहां पर हम ये देख रहे हैं कि एक कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट है ऑन द वन हैंड देर इज द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द यूजर के यूजर को बेहतर से बेहतर तरीके से कैसे फैसिलिटेट किया जाए ऑन द अदर हैंड देर इज द टास्क ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग एंड इंप्लीमेंटिंग अ गुड डिजाइन प्रोग्रामर्स व्हेन गिवन अ चॉइस विल ऑलवेज चूज एंड प्रिफर द ऑप्शन where they have to do less programming so yahan par ek sawal paida hota hai who should be in charge of the design programmers or someone else so as we have just discussed there is a clear case of a conflict of interest on part of the programmers when faced with a the choice they will adopt the easier path from a programming perspective so it is highly recommended that the people who are in charge of the design of a software application should not be the programmers by and large programmers will not look after the interests of the user so instead of having alerts in a software software should have visual indicators अब एक और एग्जाम्पल देखते हैं दिस इज अनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एन अलर्ट मैसेज ये मैसेज एक फैक्स प्रोग्राम से लिया गया है वेन एवर द यूजर एड्स एन एंट्री टू द फोन बुक एन अलर्ट मैसेज इज डिस्प्लेड विच टेल्स द यूजर दैट एन एंट्री हैज बीन एडेड 
तो जब भी यूजर एक एंट्री ऐड करता है तो हर बार उसको ये अलर्ट मैसेज नजर आएगा सो दिस इज नॉट अ वेरी इफिशियंट वे ऑफ नोटिफाइंग द यूजर इन दिस केस वी कैन सी दैट नो वैल्यू इज बींग एडेड टू द यूजर एक्सपीरियंस Now let's talk about confirmations. Again, confirmation dialog boxes are found very commonly within a software application. So what happens in a confirmation? Well, if a program is not confident, it asks for approval with a dialog box. So first of all, confirmation dialog boxes they create the impression that the program that the software is not sure what to do the software is lacking in self confidence the software is trying to guess the actions of the user confirmations come from the program and not the user therefore they are a reflection of the implementation model ab aaiye kuch examples dekhte hain in this example you are seeing a confirmation dialog box this box has been created by the software application in response to the deletion of a file to user ne ek file ke upar click kiya usko select kiya aur phir delete ka button press kiya Now, what does the user want to do? Kya user is file ko rakhna chahta hai ya dispose karna chahta hai? Well, definitely the user wants to get rid of the file. So, why should we need to ask the user? In this case, the probabilities are that the user will always click yes. So, what we are seeing in this case is that the software does not want to take responsibility for its own actions in fact the software it throws back the responsibility on the user so whenever faced with a situation it forces the user to do extra work now let's take a look at the confirmation process first of all the user issues a command to the computer Inside the computer the program detects the command of the user the program doesn't want to take responsibility for the actions and the commands issued by the user so what does the program do it issues a confirmation software we confirmation dialog box present karta hai and it tries to ask the user it is trying to put the responsibility back on the user this phenomena can be very annoying again let's compare this with an example from our daily life fast kare aap car chala rahe hain aur aapne right indicator engage kiya iske response mein car aapko ek dialog box display karta hai and it says do you really want to go right kya aap waqai right jana chahte hain how do you think the user will feel similarly if the user goes from the first gear to the second gear again a voice from the car announces kya aap waqai second gear lag- lagana chahte hain so you can see that this kind of situation would not be acceptable in our normal life so why should it be acceptable in the case of software confirmation dialog boxes ka ek aur nuksan bhi hai whenever a situation arises and confirmation dialog boxes are frequently displayed users get into a certain habit users ki ek aadat ban jati hai then they always click yes iska nuksan ye hota hai ki ho sakta hai ki ek bahut critical situation ho jahan par unhone yes ko click nahi karna 
اور وہ یسو کلک کر دیتے ہیں اٹس جسٹ لائک دی اسٹوری آف دا بوائے اینڈ دا ولف آپ نے سنا ہوگا ایک کہانی تھی ایک لڑکے کے بارے میں اور ایک ولف کے بارے میں دا بوائے اولویز یو سو کرائی ولف وہ مذاق کرتا تھا کہ مجھے ولف کھا رہا ہے پیپل یوز ٹو کم اینڈ سی دیٹ دیر واز نو ولف دیر واز نو سیریس سچویشن ایک دن واقعی ولف آ گیا اور اس کو لڑ پڑا اگین دا بوائے کرائڈ ولف بٹ نو بڈی کیم ٹو سیو ہم ان دا سیم کیس بائی اولویز ڈسپلیئنگ کانفرمیشن ڈائلاگ باکسز دا یوزرز کم ان ٹو دا ہیبٹ آف اولویز کلکنگ یس So users start dismissing confirmations as a matter of routine. So we should adopt certain guidelines. Confirmations should only be provided if user will click no or cancel. Confirmations should never be provided if the user will click yes or okay. Ab aaye kuch examples dekhte hain. In this case We are seeing an example from a word processor. اس کیس میں آپ کو کچھ اسٹائلس نظر آ رہے ہیں ہم کسی اسٹائل کو ڈیلیٹ کرنا چاہتے ہیں سو وی سلیکٹ اے سرٹن اسٹائل اینڈ وی کلک ڈیلیٹ اس کے جواب میں سافٹ ویئر ہمیں ایک کانفرمیشن ڈائلاگ باکس ڈسپلے کراتا ہے اینڈ اٹ آسک اس ڈو یو ریئلی وانٹ ٹو ڈیلیٹ Yes or no. Again, this is asking the user to do some unnecessary work. This is interrupting the flow of the user's task. So anything which introduces interruptions and obstacles for the user should be eliminated. Now, here is a question that it is possible that the user is not aware غلطی سے کوئی چیز ڈیلیٹ کر دے تو اس کے لیے ایسا میکنزم ہونا چاہیے کہ کانفرمیشن کو وہ پڑھے اور پھر یس کلک کریں دی آنسر از وی کین پرووائڈ اے میکنزم وچ ڈز دا سیم فنکشن ان اے مور ایفیشنٹ مینر کیا آپ گیس کر سکتے ہیں اس کا سولوشن یہ ہے کہ آپ انڈو کا فنکشن پرووائڈ کریں If the user realizes that he or she has made a mistake, they can simply revert to the undo function and reverse their action. Is ki wajah se unka flow bhi kharaab nahi hua and they can also achieve their goal. So, three important points regarding eliminating confirmations. First of all, do, don't ask. The software application should not ask questions unnecessarily from the user. User jo command issue kar de, software should comply with that command. Secondly, make all actions reversible. To jaysa ke humne abhi zikar kiya, koi bhi action user ka wo reversible hona chahiye. And the best way is to provide an undo function. And lastly, provide modeless feedback to help users avoid mistakes. Ab aye, kuch examples hum dekhte hain. This example illustrates a confirmation dialog box. Ye a graphics program ke under display kiya ja raha hai. This message says, the image is larger than the paper's printable area. Some clipping will occur. Now, indeed, it is telling us the truth, but it is telling us too late. Is it not possible for the software application to provide this information in a more subtle way, first of all? So what if the program could display the printable region right in the main interface as dotted guides? There is no reason for the users to be subjected to dialogues like these. The solution is to provide rich, visual, modeless feedback. 
بجائے اس کے کہ ہم کانفرمیشن ڈائلاگ باکسز ڈسپلے کریں اس کے بجائے ان کو ہم فیڈ بیک دیں جو رچ ہے اور ویژل ہے اور مور لیس ہے اب اس کا کیا مطلب ہے سو لیٹس ٹیک لک وٹ ڈو یو مین بائی رچ رچ مینس گیوز ان ڈیپتھ انفارمیشن اباؤٹ دا اسٹیٹس اور ایٹریبیوٹس آف اے پروسیس اور آبجیکٹ ان دا کرنٹ ایپلیکیشن ویژل مینس میکنگ یوز آف پکسلس آن دا اسکرین often done dynamically and lastly modeless means information is always readily displayed requiring no special action or move shift on part of the user to view and make sense of feedback ab aaiye hum iski kuch examples dekhte hain one example of rich visual modeless feedback is when we click on a file within the file system of any operating system is case mein jab aap file ko click karte hain to aapko visually left hand side ke bar ke andar ek pane ke andar kuch extra information aapko provide ki ja rahi hai ab user ne to file ko click karna hi tha lekin iske sath sath usko extra information hum provide kar rahe hain but in this case there is also a problem The details of the file are being displayed towards the lower end of the window. Or puri tafseel nazar nahi aari. So, this forces the user to scroll down the window. And then he can see all the different kinds of information. Iske alawa, ek aur tariqa, visual, modeless feedback ka, wo tool tips hote hain. If you go onto any icon, you can then see extra information when the cursor goes over a particular icon so this is an example of rich visual modeless feedback iske alawa aur kya tarike ho sakte hain what are the other methods of providing feedback to the user iske alawa hum audio feedback bhi de sakte hain by using appropriate audio sounds we can provide feedback to the user about the state of the application so we can avoid using confirmation dialog boxes by adopting various other methods so this brings us to the end of today's lecture aaj ke lecture mein humne ye discuss kiya hai ki agar aap user ke sath communicate karna chahte hain to currently uske mukhtalif tarike hain various components are being adopted within a software application such as error messages notifiers and confirmation boxes lekin humne inke andar jo problems hain wo bhi discuss kiye and we have seen that how we can improve this to provide a better user experience so until next time allah hafiz <laughs>